getting set up on the ITS Loop app is a pretty simple process. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to text you a link to a setup page. Um, as you can see here, I get my setup link sent to me in a text message. Click that link. It's going to take me to a download page. At that point, click download. It will download the app and then prompt me to open it. Once I open that app, I'm going to get a few different prompts. Okay, First off, it's going to give me a page that shows me a phone number. But it's also going to ask me if you'd like me to send notifications. I would select allow. It's going to allow us to send you messages and send messages back to us if necessary. So I'm going to click allow. I'm then going to enter my cell phone number, 775-530-2513. Hit verify number, and it's going to send me a secondary text message. At that point, it's going to send me a setup verification code. I can hold that, hit copy code head back into the app, and then I'm going to paste that code into that. Or I could just write it down and type it in if I really needed to. Once I hit verify code, it is going to take me to a secondary page. It's going to ask me a couple different questions. So first off, it says Loop would like to access your motion and fitness activity. Uh, this basically will shut the app off if you guys go too stagnant. So go ahead and hit OK on that. But other than that, it's just going to allow us to uh, get as much information as we can and not track you when we don't need to. So hit OK. It says here that everything is set up. To gain most value from this app, strongly recommend you always enable always location permission. I've already done that. You have three options when setting up with us. Always enable. Only when the app is open or don't allow, don't allow, obviously will not allow us to track you. Only when the app open will allow us to track you while the app is open. But if you were to open a different app, say an email or something like that, we will lose tracking. So select always, uh, always track. And at this point, since everything is good, I'm going to hit continue. Now it brings me to this screen. I have a few different options. As you can see, I'm on current shipment 525241 going from Reno, Nevada to City of Industry, California. This load specifically requires that I have a seal on the load. So it's going to say start seal inspection. I'm not going to open that and do it. But if you did click that, it would open a uh, screen that would make you take a screenshot of the seal for that shipment. It's going to tell me um, when the loads pick up, when the loads deliver. and it, shows me a load here at the bottom that is my load requiring paperwork for this shipment. Also, if I really need to and I don't know where 500 Gould Street is in Reno, I can hit that button there and it's going to take me in a map view of where that location is and then I can ask it to give me directions to where I need to be. I'm going to close that back out and open the app back up. We will get into a little bit later in another video of how we can enter our paperwork and things of that nature. We also have different options. Here's our dashboard that we're already in. We have my shipments, so it shows all shipments you have done with us as a driver. Um, we have here in settings, I can go into and change language. We have a ton of different languages, so if you do happen to prefer uh, or speak a different language or prefer to read in a different language, you have all these different options here to choose from, and it'll change it. I'm going to hit cancel on that. And then if you'd like to, if you really need to get a hold of us and you're not sure who to reach out to, you can click contact ITS, hit email ITS. It will bring up an email that goes to our entire service group, and you can type in whatever you guys need to know, and it'll tell us what shipment you're on, what carrier you're with, and how we need to get a hold of you. If you have any questions, of course, always give us a call. Have a good one.